Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Vogue pattern release with you. So I've picked out my favourites and some gorgeous fabrics that you could pair them with and then at the end of the video we'll do a roundup of the full range for you. Everything I talk through today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I talk about below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week though, do jump on and have a look at our Instagram account where every day I share posts on our feed, tips, tutorials, sewing inspiration, it's all there for you every day. So let's get started with the first pattern. So just to give you a bit of an overview, if you don't know, Vogue patterns are generally speaking sort of aimed at that special occasion feel you know if you really want to get your teeth into a special project and make that knockout dress with the real wow factor these are the patterns to look at great for special occasions and that sort of thing they do do some sort of more everyday stuff but the you know the real sort of um sort of uh, feather in their cap is definitely the special occasion wear um and hence today the patterns i've chosen they are all dresses the first one i want to show you is 1795 so Vogue 1795 which runs in sizes from a 6 to a 22 the 6 is a 30 and a half burst 23 waist and 32 and a half hip and the 22 is a 44 bust, 37 waist and a 46 hip. Um, oh, I just have all the heart eyes for this pattern. I just think it's so gorgeous and it's sort of fairly simple um but really different at the same time um and you'll see why so the version on the front of the packet um is a very simple bodice and it just looks like two bodice pieces that cross over and it's got a grown on sort of capped sleeve like this really so there's no separate sleeve piece and then there's a lovely wide um waist tie that comes into the middle there um, and then you can go for a straight or a pleated skirt. I think the one on the front of the pattern packet, I think there are some pleats there. Yeah, they look like box pleats um, and it's got like a sort of slight A line to it. Um, but there's also an option for like more of a pencil skirt. Um, there's also options for several different types of sleeve as well. So you can go for that little capped grown on sleeve, but also there's the option for, it looks like a, almost like a tiered or layered sleeve that ends in a sort of um, bishop sleeve style. So it's sort of um, a bit of a puffy sleeve that gathers into elastic. Um, or you've just got your classic sort of bishop sleeve style where it, it poofs out and then comes into the elastic but there is that version with the sort of tiered options to it as well um, so lots of different things you can try here I just personally love the version on the front of the pattern packet I just think it's beautiful it's got a back zipper which is how you um, get in and out of it um, and we have got some striped fabrics some striped shirting fabrics which you might want to use for this pattern on the website you could have a look at those but just to give you another option as well I thought this cotton lawn could work really well in this lovely pale blue polka dot I just thought that could look really pretty um, and because it's not too heavy the bow on the front would work quite well in that as well so yeah I just think that is such a beautiful dress it's just it's, it's really difficult to explain because I think it does look like a sort of fairly sort of simple design but then it's just those little features like the big bow and the um, pleats that just make it extra special and just that inventive design across the front of the bodice as well. I just really like that. The next pattern I want to share with you is Vogue 1780. So this runs from sizes extra small, which are 29 and a half to a 30 and a half bust, 22 to 23 waist and a 31 and a half to 32 and a half hip, up to an XXL, which is a 24 to 26, 46 to 48 bust, 39 to 41 and a half waist and 48 to 50 hip. Um, these are lovely loose fitting pullover dresses they've got a nice deep V at the front it doesn't look like that really ridiculous deep V that Vogue patterns sometimes do which is just super super low I've seen people put little uh, modesty sort of 
um, patches of fabric in on, on those occasions or you can alter the neckline but this one doesn't look too bad it is low but it doesn't look too ridiculously low to me you could always just check make a toile or check the pattern pieces though just to be sure because obviously it's going to fit different people differently um, it's got like a little stand up collar and then that um, extends into ties so you tie a bow at the back how pretty how lovely what a gorgeous design detail um, it's got forward shoulder seams it's got long sleeves with a button and loop closure um, or there's another option for the sleeves as well oh no they're the same one actually they were both done with a button and loop closure and they sort of like open into a V um, on the sleeve um, there's two hem lengths so you could go for the straightish knee length one or there's a handkerchief hem now I don't normally like a handkerchief hem but actually the version on the front of the packet the lady in the animal print I just think it looks fantastic I really love it um, and I think it'd be a lot of fun to sew as well for a bit of a change um, it's got um, it's like an empire waist um, it comes down the V comes down at the front and then it sort of curves down like so and there are bust darts there as well to help with the fit around the bust um, but again just you know that real sort of couture look about it you know beautiful um, design details again just little twists that make it different to other things you might want normally make and you know not just fun from the point of view of wearing it but also fun to try some of these more advanced techniques if you're at that point in your sewing journey and you want to get your teeth into a little something a little bit more interesting and the fabric I chose I just shamelessly um, copied the gorgeous lady on the front of the pattern packet because I just think she looks incredible um, and is an inspiration to me she looks gorgeous um, so we've got this animal print fabric which is a polyester fabric um, you might want to line this it might feel a little bit sheer for some people so just bear that in mind um, but I think because of the print it really isn't um, and because it's a dark colour I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue for you um, just holding it up so you can see the wrong side there and that's the right side um, but yeah I think this would um, work really well as that sort of longer handkerchief hem version like we see on the front of the pattern packet the next one I want to talk to you about is another absolute heart stopper for me. I just love all of these. Um, 1775. So a close fitting dress this time, which is made, um, it should be made out of um, sort of heavier weight knits like scubas and ponties and that sort of thing, which I just love because, you know, if you're going to wear a really nice fitted evening dress, how great is it if it's not in a woven fabric? So you kind of feel restricted if it's in a sort of more comfortable stretchy fabric that's going to give a little bit as you move and sit down and that sort of thing perfect in my mind um so it's very close fitting it's got a v at the front again and then it's you you create like a mesh panel um so there's a little almost like sheer section at the front if you want it i mean obviously you can put whatever you like in that little panel there um, it's got a bow at the waist which I love and for any great British sewing bee fans out there I think Esme would be very happy with these designs and all the bows that we've got going on um, it's a pencil skirt shape and it suggests it does suggest lining this dress and we do do stretch linings as well so you can look on the website for those um, and I think this would just be best off shown in a plain fabric like they've suggested on the pattern packet so I chose a Suzette um, stretch fabric it's, it's like a ponty sort of weight um, it's got like a little em embossed detail on it and it comes in this gorgeous pillar box red or navy or ivory i personally would never be brave enough to wear an ivory um or white dress i did on my wedding day but that was it uh, just because i know that i would end up spilling something on it or a child would wipe their face on it um, but i realize there are people out there who have more sophisticated lives than me so you know that that one's out there for an option as well um but yeah i think that would look gorgeous made up in the red it would be the most beautiful christmas dress ever if you had a lovely christmas party to go to or oh beautiful 
The next one I want to share is Vogue 1781. Love the retro vibes on this one. You know me, my favorite seven era of fashion is the 70s. This screams 70s to me, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got a very fitted bodice. It's got a stand-up collar. Um, a raised waist they say so it's not like a really high empire waist or anything but I think they mean it maybe is just a little bit above the natural waistline um, it looks like it's on the model's waist to me but you know if you're worried about that you might want to just check those measurements against your body um, it's got an a-line skirt with inverted front pleats if you go for the maxi version um, or the knee length version is just more of a straight skirt um, it's got patch pockets on the bust and you can put them just around the hip area as well it comes in cup sizes a b c and d so that's great if you have issues fitting in the bust area you might not need to do full bust adjustment because the pieces are in here for you or a small bust adjustment um, and it suggests fabrics like sateen linen ponty knit and lightweight denim we've got loads of denims you could use for this um and you could perhaps use you could because they, they've suggested the button band um and then the little um edges of the pockets as well and and the cuffs on the sleeve to be done in a contrast fabric so you could have some real fun with light and dark denims there for a really retro look and we've got plenty of denims on the website to choose from um, but I also thought that this seven fa berry fabric could work really well it's like a geometric um, grid print now these are very narrow fabrics because they are also used in quilting but people do use them for dressmaking as well um, they're Japanese inspired beautiful indigo colour and that we've got a few different prints that you can choose from but I thought if you made the um, short version in this perhaps because of the width of the fabric I think it's 110 wide just check the details on the website but then you could do your contrast sort of button band in just a navy blue perhaps um, and I thought that would look really nice and then the next one I want to talk to you about is Vogue 1783 um, another lovely button front dress um, with a belt it's got a fitted bust a collar and a collar stand um, so that's always a nice technique to get your teeth into I think I really enjoy doing those it's got drop shoulders um, bell sleeves so they really flare out really dramatic sleeves princess seams which end in release pleats going into the skirt um, and it's got side seam pockets for all you pocket lovers out there and then you've got the option to go knee length or maxi length um, again an another knockout dress I mean I just think you would feel like a film star wearing this I would I know I would I'd feel really special wearing this um, and again have a lot of fun making it trying out some different techniques and the fabric I chose I thought the long version would look gorgeous in this viscose fabric which also which actually sort of is a it almost feels like a linen-y crepe um, it's got like a sort of matte almost sort of slubby finish to it um, but it's got great drape and movement and um, this be be beautiful floral print on it um, I thought that could work really well for either version to be honest actually maybe the knee, knee length version in this one and those like big bell bl billowy sleeves in this fabric I think would just look gorgeous so that was my choice for that one and then finally we've got another dress um, so it's a loose fitting partially lined dress it's got drop, dropped shoulders short sleeves and cuffs it's got bust darts and then it's got waistline pleats and welt pockets so again welt pockets another great sewing technique to get in your um in your back pocket and try out and learn um and again just another just very beautiful in its simplicity this dress it's got a collar as well no collar stand though um and again i chose for this one one of the seven berry fabrics because I thought because the seven berry fabrics are sort of um they're not the most drapey of fabrics so they're more like they really do feel and behave like a linen fabric um so I thought this would work really well for the pleats and the collar um it's quite a structured design that dress so I thought this would work really well and I just wanted to show you another um print that we've got so this one's just got like these little subtle uh, crosses on it 
um, really lovely and would work brilliantly and again just watch out because the width on these is narrow so you would need quite a lot of fabric um, for your dressmaking projects if you used one of these. So that's it from me today. Do stay tuned for the full slideshow at the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.